Greetings everyone, it's Denise again with another charcoal drawing. This time I used a photo of a little boy who was sticking his head out of the car window while his father was pumping gas. I thought it was adorable. We were parked right next to them and um, my husband was pumping gas and I whipped out my camera and took a photo. I thought he was just the cutest little guy. I decided to draw him. So here I am starting with the vine charcoal. Putting it in the facial features and I'm going to need to change a few things already. I think he was about mm, five, maybe six, so very young. Um, very cute little little face. I've got his neck a little too long. Need to shorten that. <laughs> and we see how easy it is to um, just use your finger to change a line with this vine charcoal. And of course, my charcoal is getting so small. I'm gonna have to sharpen a new piece of vine charcoal. So I just pull out my um, my piece of sandpaper and very carefully make a point on the vine charcoal. It will break really easily if I'm not uh, careful how I do that. Oh, much better. This is a nice long piece. So I've got to straighten up the top of his head and uh, make his neck a little bit shorter. Yeah. There we go. That's better. I love drawing children. There's something very special about their expressions and the sweetness of their face and um, I don't know, the innocence, I think. Maybe I never grew up. That's what my sister says. <laughs> it's a possibility. Who wants to grow up? So I'm using the vine charcoal to also lay in a little bit of gray tone on my paper. I'm using the blue again because one, well, it was cheap. <laughs> and two, it's great for these sketches because it's just the right middle value um, that I can use. I can build up the darks to make them darker and I can add white to the highlights and um, the the blue value kind of takes the middle tone. So now I've pulled out my 2B pencil and I'm putting in the, the lines where I think they should be and adding um, details, more shadows, fixing the ear and the teeth. The light source was interesting on this photo because we were, well, of course, at a gas station under an overhang that allowed for reflected light and um, a subdued main light source. So he's got a little bit of reflected light on the the left side and um, brightness, white light, 
on the right side. I'm pulling out my stump so that uh, I can get into the little areas like around the ear and the uh, smudging the, the little parts around the nose and eyes. Sometimes your fingers are just too big. <laughs> so two light sources is a little bit difficult and usually I don't uh, I don't use a photo that has uh, re that much reflected light, but this one was so darling. I figured it was worth a try. I don't get very far into the drawing before my hand starts to really hurt. I've got the, you know, carpal tunnel problems. So I have to set it aside for a little while and then come back to it. Sometimes half an hour, sometimes a couple of hours. This is part of my 100 Days of Children series where I decided to do a child's face every day for 100 days to improve my skills, to work on um, being able to just uh, see features and draw them effortless effortlessly. You want to work quickly, you want to work um, confidently, draw the same thing over and over and over again in, in different formats. Now I'm using my kneaded gum eraser to pull off the shadows where I want the highlights to be because I'm going to use the uh, white charcoal and you can't, you can't cover up charcoal with, with the white. It just doesn't work. This is the 4B pencil I'm using to uh, get some deeper darks in the hair and pupil of the eye and some of the places where there are deep shadows. The nostrils and the ear, places like that. in the corners of the mouth, of course. It's dark in there. <laughs> I'm using my 4B to darken the um, background as well. The added contrast makes his, his shirt and the highlights on his face really pop out better. Yeah, my little dog's going to semi-bark because he hears somebody outside. <laughs> I 
I love to draw, it's my favorite thing. It doesn't much matter to me that it hardly ever pays, that we don't have a great deal of income coming from my artwork. I just love it so much. When I was young, my father tried to discourage art. He told me I would starve to death. I don't want that as a career, a hobby maybe, but not a career. And I just couldn't give it up. I tried. I was a secretary for a while. I've done lots of things, but I always come back to the artwork because it's just part of who I am. It's in me. We need some darker hair there on that one side. And then a few highlights just with the eraser. I'm not going to put any white, I think. I also do lots of collage. You can see it behind the drawing here. Um, little scraps of paper everywhere because when I want to work on a drawing, I'll just set it down on top of my collage work and then pull it up later. Well, that's it. That's my drawing. I hope you liked it. Thanks so much for watching. See you next time.